thank you so the topic is about the lin uh, what is lin so lin is a local interconnected network protocol okay so the main uh, intention of this protocol is uh, where the automotive industry and some of the uh, industries where we are using the protocol with a simple way okay so means uh, the cost is very less and uh, the complexity also it will be very less and uh, it have the different futures compared to the can and uh, ethernet or the flex tray okay so going forward we'll understood about uh, the lin concept in detail so lin is the full form is the local interconnected network protocol and uh, and it is a standardized internationally by iso 17987 this is the iso standard for the lin and uh, next will be the it is a serial communication protocol like a can and uh, it is a linear bus topology uh, a network we know that uh, ring topology and uh, the bus topology but it is a uh, the linear bus topology which communicates over the single wire it have only the single wire compared to the can it have two wires and uh, next will be the lin protocol is designed to communicate uh, to communicate the changes in the switches settings and we can switch easily and accommodate the channels okay because here we have only the single wire with the help of the single wire we are communicating with the multiple nodes means like in the can how we are communicating with the nodes and ecus no so similarly in the lin also we are able to communicate and each switch or node should respond immediately so that changes will be happening from the node okay so this protocol is basically intended to have a communication event so it will give the millisecond response and uh, lin protocol is designed to be the simple reliable and effective for low speed and low cost applications and lin protocol is a, a low cost and uh, single wire communication bus it is used to com communicate with the sensors and actuators in the automotive applications it is a often a sub bus to the can bus okay means uh, it can handle the complex and high speed communication okay can is the uh, 1 mbps but here the lin is very less compared to the can going in properties we'll discuss this and uh, it is a master slave type of communication based on the polling strategy like you what so it will uh, we are communicating with the devices and it is a off duplex and uh, the main point is it is a one way communication protocol so it can communicate one way at one time and uh, this data type contains the lin bus channels so whatever the data we are it is transmitting it will be in the in the form of raw value and uh, how this communication is happening between the ecus is Uh, it will communicate between the master and slave, and uh, who the master will initiate always the transfer of the data. Okay, so the to the slaves which need which slave need to be transferred that will be decided by the lin master. And here the mo uh, master node loops through the each of the slave nodes. and send request for the information and each slave will be uh, responded here the responded will be means data whenever the data is received to the slave it will be polled it and the lin it have the lin have the two parts that is header and response so whatever the frame that we are transmitting from the master to the slave the frame format will be header and response so the slave how it will respond to the header accordingly it is important to know that 
sometimes the master master also can respond the own header okay so whenever the uh, data is transferring from master to slave no it have the header and uh, the response okay so now the slave should respond in the can how the receiver will respond no in the same way the lint has to respond here the slave is respond to the header uh, based upon the information sometimes uh, as uh, the data will be pulled from the master to the slave so like uh, the physical content of this lin is uh, it will operate with respect to 9 volts to 18 volts voltage and uh, it it will survey up to 40 volts this is very important because more than 40 volts uh, the bus cannot hold and uh, the microcontroller requires 5 volts for the operation it it will be isolated using the linear driver or the receiver to avoid damage or the proper functionality. So whenever we are configuring with the microcontroller, the LIN protocol, so we always go with the five volts, will be the normal operating voltage that will be giving from the microcontroller. Uh, so the maximum we can give up to 40 volts. So uh, above that, it will be damaged the communication won't happen. And uh, the medium operating range will be 90 volts and 18 volts. And this is a frame format, uh, like uh, the lean message frame we have. So, so here, uh, the first, uh, the header. So as I told you, it have the, whenever the master is sending the information to the slave, it will send the, frame in form of header and response. So the header contains the break and sync and identifier. So like this is a ID and this will be the syncing of the message and this will be the breaking of the information between the slaves and the response. The message response will be the data. So it have the data information the from the master to slave how many bytes of data we need to transfer. That will be decided by the data. And we have the checksum. Checksum is specifically checking of the errors from the master to the slave. So this is the top level of understanding of the lean protocol about uh, it have the message header and, uh, and message responder. So message header contains these three fields and message response contains these two fields of the data and the checksum. And uh, uh, in detail, if you see between the message header and the message responses, we have the some space. So that will be the responder space we call. And the this, uh, so all together we called as a frame. And whenever they are sending the messages uh, from master to slave, they have some space that we called as the interframe space between the two messages. So all together, the interframe uh, space and the message editor and the response space and uh, the message response, we all together called as the frame slot. So this is the structure of the frame slot, how uh, it is transferring from master to slave. And coming to the lin applications so where we are using is so in the cars as we told so it will be using on the roof so here the lin system can control the sensors and actuators re related to the sunroof and rain sensors and light sensors and the ambient lighting based of ambient lighting is specifically Depends upon the climate situation, the sensor will update to the ECU and the light will glow. So it's related to the ambient lighting. So it it will be configured to the roof. So, and next is the seat. So for the seat controller ECUs, we are configuring with the LIN protocol. And here also it is used to adjust the seat position and heating and ventilations and uh, some part of message functioning means uh, uh, the ventilation or seat positioning and heating is whenever we are sitting uh, the on the seat position for long time uh, 
it requires some comfort activities towards the sitting position or uh, due to long sitting it will be the heat up and and moreover to control the some functionalities like it, for uh, we need to add some of the ac features to the seating seat controller okay like keeping the coolers uh, back end to the seat and all we need uh, required uh, the lin protocol so there we are using the lin to communicate with the seat control and next next will be the climate so the line uh, here we used for the fan speed controlling means whatever the cooling purpose we are using the fan to and uh, the air controlling um, into the car and uh, the to maintain the quality of the air purifying within the car so that climatic conditions is required so between those device connections we are using the lin protocol between the communication part it will be and next will be the steering wheel so steering wheel is so uh, we have the r and near to the uh, steering and even we have we are have the some of the functionalities like cruise control wiper and uh, some of the turn signals and airbags so those features are configured with the lin protocol because uh, it it is a single wire communication where the data can be transmitted from one end and next will be the doors so like doors we have the mirrors and uh, the window lifts and the mirror adjustment and speakers all this will comes under the doors module uh, so all those small all these modules we are using this lane protocol and not in not only in automotive in some other modules like locomotive or some part of aerospace other divisions also this loan lin protocols are using uh, it is useful and more in the other domains as of now the automotive is the one where this protocol is using more to communicate with the multiple ecus and flexibility and coming to the properties of the lin it is a low cost option it um, because it is a uh, it won't have uh, much speed and even the fault occurrence are not critical because of the single line there it won't happen short to bat or short to ground and those concepts because of the single line communication and coming to the uh, communication how it will spread is it has a one master and 16 slave node communication so that is the maximum nodes we can configure for the lin and next will be the wire one as i told you the single wire and uh, the speed we are operating 1 to 20 kilobits per second this is the maximum operating range that we are using the can uh, lin and uh, it is like same the length we can use up to maximum 40 meters that is the bus length and uh, here we, it will works based on the tram trigger scheduling uh, concept and uh, the data we can transmit up to two four eight bytes of data okay where it will follows the event numbers and it will support the error detection checksum and configuration so and uh, the operating voltage it will be the 12 volts it will be the normal operating voltage and the physical layer based upon uh, in, in iso network layer we have the each layer it will follow some standards so the lin also have the some standard iso 1941 it is a k line so it's defined and uh, it will support mostly for the sleep mode uh, sleep mode and wake up mode whenever uh, you are powering on your vehicle just key on so what it will do it will immediately power uh, it will start communicating with battery to the other ecus so this is a very important properties towards the lin and comparability towards the lin and can protocol coming to the architecture as we discussed it and up to 15 slaves can be communicated but whereas the can 
the it is a multi master communication protocol whoever will send the data so he it acts like a master the others will be the sl slaves so here lin we decides only the one master and one protocol and uh, next will be the medium access so in can it will follow the csma cr method but uh, in lin it will go with the polling method who will uh, makes the high priority uh, towards the master will be decided then the others uh, nodes will be the slaves so that will be the polling method and topology as we discussed it both are like a bus topologies where all the nodes are connected towards the bus and uh, coming to the messages uh, transmission uh, so can is a asynchronous communication protocol and lin is the synchronous communication protocol and coming to the data rate baud rate as we discussed it is a maximum it will be 19.5 means approximately 20 kilobits per second and uh, maximum can can support up to 1 mbps and coming to the bit coding it will be nrj non return zero and it will follow the bit stuffing uh, when the uh, data is transmitting between the sender and receiver and uh, the error checking mechanism here it will follow the checksum uh, uh, over the protected uh, whenever the specific node is slave is selected so it will follow the checksum process and data will be transferred in the data field but whenever the data is transmitting in the can so with the help of the crc if any errors is occur it won't transfer the data so only for the valid messages it the data will be transferred in the form of frames and next will be the distance uh, that is the hamming distance we call that is hd for checksum is 2 and hd for crc checksum is 6 and uh, the physical layer it will be the single wire and it will be the dual layer high and low and operating voltage will be like uh, we can operate uh, 8 to 9 volts uh, the single wire and uh, here 3.3 volts we we can operate and cabling impediments will be 1 kilo ohms and uh, here it we are connecting 120 ohms and the cost oh. coming to yeah Sir, in CAN, 3.5 volt is high voltage is 3.5 volt. Uh, that is the optimal voltage, operating okay. voltage. We can operate up to 3.3. Okay, sir. So okay. We have the 5 volts. So whenever the high data is transferred, that will be CAN high will be 3.5 and low will be 1.5. So that is a 3.3 will be the operating voltage that okay, is sir. defined. And coming to the cost of the lean, it will be a low cost that is a single wire and two volts bus and the coming to the can it will be the dual wire and it is a twisted uh, kind of wires will be there can high and can low and uh, we are operating with the five volts entire bus can high and low we are operating up to five volts so these are the parameters uh, of the, uh, the comparison between the lin and can protocol the high important will be this information and next what is the advantages of the lin will be it is a single wire uh, interface uh, single wire bus and uh, where uh, the we are adding this lin in the vehicles because of the less cost and we can implement for the effective uh, complexity of the hardware and it is a self synchronized protocol okay we don't want uh, external uh, clock okay so here th therefore here it's not required the external oscillator also and lin is the best and most suitable alternative to the can for application and because of the high bandwidth and uh, but it is a low speed only that comparatively and disadvantages of the lin protocol is lin is a low speed and it not considered for safety other important applied because because of the low speed no the data can be cannot be transferred immediately like airbags some of the braking conditions 
okay so that's why this lin is not used in such cases they are using in towards the sunroof or windows applications or mirror because it has it is a, have this slow speed and response also slow and the, the communication here always initiated by the master because a slave also should initiate you no know, whenever they is getting the priority like arbitration how the can follows but here it's not like that it will initiated by the master and there is no strong and and we don't have like in can we have the acknowledgement and the crc field all that will be checking the error but here we have only the uh, crc for checksum uh, the and uh, it is it is a not uh, strong enough so that is a, a one disadvantage and coming to the real time um, activity where this uh, uh, the lin is configured it will be example if we consider there is a uh, one central electronic module we call as a cem so that most uh, with the help of the cem is the master and this gateway is the one where the information is passing to the sunroof and mirror and rain lock so this all the issues i connected with the lin protocol to the one uh, master ecu that we called as a central electronic module with the help of the lin network i connected this are it have all the sensors and actuators okay so how from my gateway okay so from my gateway it is connected to the cm and if you look into the actual uh, here uh, so this is a one controller uh, module so that controller module we are configured with the wiper motor means what uh, in the cars we have the wiper so that wiper motor is configured to the lin protocol uh, to this ecu this is a cm ecu for this cm ecu i configured this lin communication protocol to the motor and uh, this is a feedback signal and the other part will be the power supply and ground will be there for this motor so whatever the feedback information i am getting from the motor that will be giving with the help of the lin protocol and this is a kind of the cluster where the sun proof for is used and mirror is used and uh, uh, the seat control all those module issues are configured to the uh, to, to the central module and uh, how the exact uh, data that we are capturing in the stumps of message structure will be is sync sync break is used to signal the beginning of the messages so whenever the messages will be starting so the first part will be the sync break that will be uh, that we are getting in the beginning of the message okay and next will be the delimiter so this delimiter will be the this will be the oscilloscope data okay so in the oscilloscope whenever the data message is uh, in the link communication we can verify in the oscilloscope so if some messages is transmitting whether that message frame is transmitting or not so we can verify so in the sync break we are getting the information this is the starting phase of the message and that we can see it in the message header and next we have the delimiter so this delimiter will indicates that the sync and break is completed now um, the server to show that lin wire is not shorted to ground means so this delimiter will say that uh, there is no short of information is happening now the message is ready to transfer so like that the sync field will be send a message though so based upon this uh, sync field uh the message is now ready to sync and the data will be transferred in the sync field okay so whereas in the can we don't have like this okay so it have own uh, clock for uh, transmitting of the messages uh so in coming to the electrical voltage level so we uh, as you know in the can we have the one recessive and zero dominant similarly in the lin we have follow the same mechanism uh, this is a voltage level and the timing okay so whenever the voltage uh, we we are giving the voltage uh, so that will be the recessive will be the higher of 80% and lower means it will be zero 
so that lower will be the dominant it will be of 20 percent that calculation can be uh, this is the data and this is the graphical data that can be measured what is the percentage of the 80 and 20 percentage and uh, coming to the uh, one another application how this lives Sorry, like uh, it stopped. Yes, sir. When it stopped? No, sir. You, your voice was not audible. Okay, when? Uh, with the next slide, when you have changed the slide. Okay. Uh, vehicle charging way. system. Vehicle charging system. Vehicle charging system. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Vehicle charging system is like uh, generally, uh, um, it is a specifically like earlier we discussed about uh, one example, and this is a another example in the real time for a vehicle charging system. How this LIN bus is configured. So uh, this is uh, the alternator. Alternator is uh, the one where we are generating the power. Uh, we, utilizing the power and additionally we are getting the power it is a kind of a alternator where it will uh, it will convert mechanical energy to the electrical energy so with the conventional charging way so that that will be the d plus terminal is used for the exciter current for the rotor field winding means whatever the information uh, the, this will be a kind of a plus and uh, there will be the W. So W terminal is used for measuring the engine speed by tapping of a starter face. So whatever the signals, no, the D plus or B plus of uh, W, all this will be kind of uh, uh, the inputs that we are giving to the in alternator. So D plus here I given like it shows that charger wants light uh, circuit to the rotor field winding means this is a one connection where the communication is happening and the W is the phase detection to tachometer for engine speed related to update the alternate like whatever the alternate speed we need to read the data so that will be reading from here and uh, the main battery rate means whatever the battery information so that need to be measured okay so on the display so these are the small kind of information i need to measure, uh, measure the speed of the information uh, or uh, i need to measure the speed of the uh, vehicle i need to measure the battery percentage so such all information can be communicated with the help of the lin bus so this is a one example any other questions you have so this is all about the lin protocol so i hope this recording will help you to understand uh, in detail of the real time and uh, go with the understanding of the properties and uh, this is important and come and other part will be the applications and uh, next will be the structure of the lean so as we told the break and sync are the identifier then the data will be transferred here we don't have the crc it is a checksum so checksum field will be there and uh, here we have the message header and message responser. So this is a overview of, of the LIN protocol. Okay, what are the two frames? It have the header and response frames. Okay. So clear, right? Any other doubts you have? The message mechanism, can you explain one more time? 
Okay. So the message not, mechanism. Not this one, sir. Uh, okay. So the next uh, forward. No, the, the last one. More forward. Not this one. Before yeah. this, before this. Okay. Yeah. Here, yeah, no, this is yeah. a oscilloscope. Okay. With the help of the oscilloscope, uh, we usually measure the messages or signals are transmitting from the master to slave. So, okay. So, whenever the data we are transmitting in the LIN protocol, no, the first field will get the sync break. Okay. In the sync break, uh, we have the starting information and the, uh, this sync and break, it have the delimiter. So this delimiter will indicates that uh, lin, lin is a clear enough to transmit the message data. Okay, so means it will give indication if the delimiter is not uh, in high, uh, it indicates that uh, now it is a falling edge. Okay, so if it is a not falling edge means then the data, whatever we are transmitting, it is not in a sync field okay so this sync will ensure that uh, whatever the message we are transmitting in the data field uh, it is transmitting successfully okay so here it won't have the clock mechanism so based upon the day sync and break uh, delimiter mechanism the data will be transferred this is how the message structure of the lin will be there so only it have the master and slave communications so it is a uh, not a multi master it is only the single master and multi node that multi node is 16 slaves we can be configured at a time okay sir thank you okay any other questions this is a very simple in Any other questions? What does checksum give the uh, information, sir? Checksum, it will give information that what whatever the data we are sending, it is uh, valid. It is valid. It will throw. Uh, it will. Uh, it won't allow to the slave. Like. Uh, we have the can in CRC field now. So similar way in the lean, the charm will play like it will check the valid and invalid message of data. Okay. Okay. So we'll go in the in detail about understanding what is a break and uh, concept. So generally, the mar, as I told you, the break. So it enables all the slave to listen up coming of the. Uh, so whenever we are, the break is occurring means it indicates that uh, it is listening the slaves that are connected uh, in the network. Okay. So mainly, you no, know, it have the thirteen bits dominant and one bit will be the recessive. Okay. So it will compare uh, like that, and. Uh, it will always have the zero, the break limiter. So this is a break limiter. The break limiter will be always zero uh, whenever the message is transmitting. And we have the sync. The sync is a is a slave device. So, so whenever the slave device are adjusted, you no, know, with respect to the baud rate or uh, the syncing mechanism with respect to the buses, you no. Know, so then the data will be start transmitting automatically okay so that will be uh, like uh, the example of the x value like uh, whenever the data is synced properly so that will information will be given from the sync and coming to the identifier so identifier is specifically to identify the which slave we need to transmit okay so that all that will be decided by the master okay so as i told you the data will be transmitted in the form of raw data okay so the lin bus can provide up to 64 ids so we can configure up to 64 ids of data okay so generally you no know, 
the ids uh, whatever the 64 ids no usually it have 0 to 59 it have the it will carry the signal informations and 60 to 61 it will carry the diagnostics data and 62 it have the uh, it uh, it is reserved for a user defined extension it means user can add uh, the information and user six, id 63 is uh, the reserved we are not uh, when any, any new features or any new implementations is happening we are using this protocol 63 and next we have the reserved space as we discussed so this reserved space is like uh, uh, the time gap means whatever the between the message uh, header and message response okay that will be the response time uh, whenever the first message or first byte of data is transferred then the next phase it should wait some time and uh, next will be the uh, data so this data is whenever the master is trying to send data from master to the slave so here we can transfer up to zero one to eight bytes of data this is a very important and uh, next checksum so checksum is uh, very important to calculate whatever the byte eight bytes of data that we are transmitting so in the bit level it will be checked uh, whether it is a valid or invalid data that we are transmitting so that's how this check, uh, checksum will be helpful uh, so there are some uh, concept where it depends upon the transmission or uh, the data will be uh, the data will be transferred from master to slave uh, depends upon the requirement the implementations in the software so those requirements are it's related to the conditional requirements or even triggered uh, sophistic or some of the diagnostics and the user defined all those so these ids are with respect to this uh, information where it will support 64 bytes of data so in that detail you have un unconditional means most commonly used frame types are always carrying the signals and data or identify the range of 0 to 59 so all subsets so some of the in detail information about uh, the event based or the periodic based or the unconditional or diagnostic relevant uh, so it will be covered as part of the lin yeah this is all about the lin protocol any